And now new this morning, it used to take the space shuttle just about nine minutes to blast off from Earth and start orbiting the planet. Well, here's the thing. The final liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavor actually took hours to pull off overnight at the California Science Center. NBC4's Lauren Coronado is live in Exposition Park with more on this final phase of the shuttle's big move. Lauren. Lynette, Adrian, you talk about hours, right? We're talking nearly 20 hours for some folks who've been here working hard. You might still be able to see a lot of people on the scaffolding behind me. And gosh, what a view. It's just incredible to see it in front of us, Endeavor. It's been 13 years since the last time it was up in space. And joining me live now is Allison Goodall. Thank you for being with us, the senior vice president here at the California Science Center. What does it feel like right now for you? You've been down dedicated to this mission for quite some time to be here and to see it come to fruition. Oh, absolutely. Um, this is an incredible day. We've been working toward this for decades, as you mentioned, and um, this is so incredible to see Endeavor mated to the external tank and the solid rocket boosters. You're seeing the full shuttle stack that we've been dreaming of. It's really awe-inspiring, and we can't wait for it to open to the public and inspire millions of kids. Absolutely. You talk about the public on your way out here if you drive by exposition park even from the freeway you can see this that's how massive it is how tall are we talking because i understand the crane is 400 feet tall in itself just to get it over these massive walls we're surrounded by and get it where it's at right now yes it's a monumental undertaking 450 foot crane that's as tall as city hall to give you just a sense of scale um, when this is all said and done the building is going to be 20 stories tall so 200 foot uh, display of the space shuttle. It's really quite something to marvel at. And you talked about how this has taken decades. I understand this was just a dream back in 1992. Is that right? That's right. Um, our curator for aerospace science and our CEO sat down together and thought about the master plan for an expanding California Science Center. That was even before the Science Center opened, and that was before Endeavor launched. They penciled out a plan to put a space shuttle in launch position. I've seen the drawings going back to 1992, and here we are today seeing the vision become a reality. And how lucky are we? It's in our backyard. And my last question, talk to me about where it's sitting right now, because this won't be open to the public for quite some time. They'll be able to see it, but talk to me about this wing, this part of the Science Center. Yes, so we are standing on the construction site for the Samuel Ocean Air and Space Center, which is a major expansion to the California Science Center. It will double our exhibit space. Space Shuttle Endeavor will certainly be the star attraction, but it's much more than that. It's a whole Air and Space Center. So we'll have an incredible collection of aircraft, space spacecraft, hands-on exhibits to learn about the science and engineering behind atmospheric flight and space exploration. Awesome. Thank you so much for being with us. And you guys have such a talented team with such expertise. We've been learning so much all morning long. Thank you again. There's still so much to talk about, so stick around. Closer to 6.55, we'll dig deeper into what you can expect from the shuttle and how folks could come visit, too. Reporting live, I'm Lauren Coronado for Today in L.A. Lauren, thank you for that.